So now we're going to get to step two, st and that's teach and assess. So this is rubric 1.5, and there's a lot here because this is a meaty, meaty part of the whole assessment. So let's get to it. Essential question. How does the candidate establish clear learning expectations based on an understanding of learning students' prior knowledge and maintain a positive and safe learning environment that supports all students to assess and meet the content-specific learning goals? Okay, so this is all about learning expectations. Again, level three we're focusing on. Candidate sets learning expectations during the lesson, directly connects lessons to prior learning of the content, and explains how this lesson fits into a larger unit of instruction. There's three things here, setting the instruction, setting the expectations, connecting to prior learning, and how this matters to a bigger thing. So you have to do all three of these. Next bit, candidates' annotations explain how a positive and safe learning environment was established. Well, this goes to your annotations from your video, just like you're talking about how everybody was in a good place to be learning. Next one, candidate uses strategies seen in video that support students to assess access and meet content specific learning goals All right so let's see what we have here um, as i put here important evidence must be described in your annotations all of these things are about your annotations must five things at the beginning of your lesson you must set both learning and engagement expectations so not just what they're going to learn but how they're going to go about their learning at the beginning of your lesson you must explicitly talk about and connect students to the learning that came before the lesson Okay, so that's what we have here. During the lesson, and especially in the closure, you must talk about how this lesson is important to something bigger and tell students what will come next. That's that piece. In your annotations, give attention to setting expectations, positively redirecting students to participate, sharing that makes a learning, sharing that makes a learning community, positive comments on your part. Okay, so this is this part, positive learning, safe learning environment. Annotate all the times you check for understanding and use that check to support students to better understanding. Annotate specific teaching moves that put student thinking and engagement, higher order thinking. All right, so that needs to be in there. That's one of the annotations you have. It's like higher order thinking here. So that's all level three. Level four, one point gain. Annotate using create, creating positive environments. So whenever you do this one, you have four different kinds of um, annotations you might set out in level to move from level three to four candidates and students interact with each other through questioning and conversation that demonstrate positive and respect, respectful rapport with each other and reinforce deep learning of content so when you are annotating think about this part and how you would describe that in this conversation we're having amongst ourselves into the class the kids are asking good questions. I've asked to do so. You can imagine how you do the annotation to show this. Okay. Um, so what did I write here? Another easy one point gain: annotate using creative, positive environment, all the productive shared talk and activity. Annotate using higher order thinking, all instances of rich talk and discussion, as well as student immersion in activity. Okay. So those two things. There's two annotations: creating positive environment higher order thinking. Those will all help you with this one. So level five, candidate de demonstrates and explains how and why the UDL strategy is used to establish an inclusive environment that supports all students to learn and how these strategies provide an equitable access to, count to content. So this is another note, the same thing. Wherever you have an opportunity to use the annotation creating positive environment, you do that all the times when you pull your students together to discuss, share, think about the content. Okay, so that's inclusive environment. As you work to be inclusive and equitable in, in who participates, anytime you're bringing kids together for things, think about creating positive environment and how that fits with this whole thing about create, creating equitable access to content. So that's 